The NRCALC 3D documentation and videos present a lot of information about proper shell geometry and tools and techniques for creating multiple shells to develop a mesh. The question though that comes up is, why do we work with a mesh in the first place when we're performing finite element modeling? And the key is that stresses can only be accurately reported at shell centers, even though they can be extrapolated to shell corners. And likewise, deflections can only be accurately determined at nodes. So in the case of any real model, if there's a need for accurate stresses at multiple locations, then we need to make sure that we have shell centers at or fairly near to those locations. And likewise, if there's a need for deflection values at multiple locations, then we need to make sure that we have nodes fairly close to those locations of interest. And so for these reasons, whenever we perform a finite element analysis, we look to develop a mesh that balances those needs and provides shell centers and nodes fairly close to the locations of interest without creating something that's so overly dense that it's burdensome to run.